Chelsea travelled to the northeast, knowing that a win against Sunderland would take them to within two points of WSL1 leaders Manchester City with a game in hand. The hosts, meanwhile, were hoping to recover quickly from their hammering at Arsenal at the weekend. Preying on Sunderland's lack of confidence, Chelsea applied the pressure from the first whistle. It wasn't long until Rachel Law's goal was threatened. Gemma Davison found Karen Carney, who saw her effort come back off the post. It was to prove only a temporary reprieve for Sunderland. Despite the Chelsea pressure, it wasn't until just before the half hour that the opening goal came. Kenny the provider as her cross was met on the volley by Claire Rafferty, who fired in a superb effort to give the visitors a deserved lead. Beth Mead had scored a consolation for Sunderland in their loss at Arsenal and she again looked her team's most likely source of a goal. This effort about as close as Carlton Fairweather's side came to scoring on the night. As if affronted by an attempt on their goal, Chelsea doubled their advantage soon after Mead had gone close. Gemma Davison's jinking run and shot drew a decent save from Laws. Unfortunately for her, Rafferty was on hand to turn the loose ball in from close range. Rafferty clearly enjoying her new role as left wing back. The points were effectively won a minute before the break as Davison got the goal her first half performance merited. A quick free kick found G, who split the Sunderland defence with her pass, which Davison paid the ultimate compliment by slotting past Laws. 3-0 before half-time meant it was turning out to be another game to forget for Sunderland. After the restart, there was little change to the pattern of the match. Davison came close to adding her second of the contest, but was denied by a fine save from Laws. Chelsea, though, boasts one of the finest attacks in WSL1, and though Sunderland tried, their poorest defence couldn't keep Emma Hayes' side at bay. The fourth goal of the night owed much to the skill of G, who bamboozled the static Sunderland defence before finding Katie Chapman, who teed up bright to score. Sunderland beat Chelsea 4-0 at home last season and only suffered a narrow 2-1 defeat when the teams met at Staines before the break, but they were well beaten here as Chelsea showed their impressive strength in depth. Substitute Enia Luko, one of several involved in the fifth and final goal. It came 13 minutes from time when G's left-footed strike found the net. So the reigning champions are now within touching distance of leaders City. For Sunderland, these are desperate times. 5-0 the final score.